I was a youth pastor at our church and we always went to visit shut-ins at Valentine's Day and take cards. We had done that and we were on our way home and there was a wreck. It was a pretty horrific wreck. So I pulled over and as I started to cross the street, another young lady came over the hill and I think she was probably looking at the accident and didn't see me. And she hit me going about 45 miles an hour. Um, it put me 50 feet in the air through her windshield and on the ground. They thought I was dead on the scene. I did die twice in the helicopter on the flight to Cabell. If you count every fracture, I had over 200 fractures, um, which you know, you only have so many bones in your body. So just about every bone in my body was broken. C1, 6, and 7 were broken in my um, neck. They said just a millimeter more and I would have been paralyzed um, from the neck down. Um, all of my ribs were broken. My spinal processes were broken. Um, this arm was completely crushed in shoulder. My hips and pelvis and my left leg and, um, and I had some internal damage um, as well. I, um, I know that God was holding my head in His hands because for all of that brokenness, uh, I did not have one bump, bruise, scratch on my face or um, you know, on my head. Um, I, didn't ha I didn't lose any teeth. I didn't have any fractures in my face at all or, my, or any skull fractures. Um, but all the rest of me was broken. So I, I know for certain that he was holding me through that. You know, so many times prior to my accident, during my recovery and, and still today, so many times there's always stuff going on in our life. And um, you, I turn on the radio and listen to Walk FM and the song that's being played just at that moment um, would fit whatever the situation, whether it's I'm in a really happy mood or um, whether I just really need some comforting. Uh, the music on Walk FM, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I could get through my day without it. Um, it you know, it really, it, it really is a, is a source of comfort and um, it's just part, it's part of our family. <laughs> I feel like I know, you know, <laughs> everyone on Walk FM. Um, the Walk FM is such community partners. They're always they always have a presence in community events and um, and support our community and my grandkids. They uh, they listen to Walk FM before they go to sleep. There's there's certain songs that Walk plays that help lull them to sleep and um, it's just a part of every bit of our our life in the car at home wherever we are.